Hi guys, and welcome to my 25 days of Christmas. We're just going to be diving right in to day number seven. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is day number seven already. So, today I'm going to be sharing with you five foundations that you need in your life. So these are a mixture of drugstore and high-end ones. Um, these are the ones I think are totally worth it. These are my five ride or die foundations. Like, you need them. And I'll have links to all of them down below. So we're going to be starting out, we're just going to get the high-end ones out of the way. My two high-end ones that I absolutely need. This is the Estee Lauder Delaware. I just did a review on this. I've been playing around with it the past month. I'm obsessed with it. It makes your skin look absolutely flawless. It stays on you all day long. They have such a wide foundation color range that I feel like there's a shade for everyone. And I'm in the shade 2W Dawn. I just, I love the coverage on this one so much. I think that this is just a really good foundation for brides. I have not noticed a flashback at all. So, I mean, I'm all for it and I really enjoy it and I know that Estee Lauder has some really really good ingredients so this is one of the ones that I highly recommend for high-end foundations if you really want to invest in one. And the other one that I think is well worth the $50 is the Dior Forever foundation. Um, this one right here, I'm in the shade 021. I think it's um, linen. Pretty sure it's linen but this makes your skin look perfect. You can have a medium coverage or a full coverage day it goes on so smoothly, your skin just looks healthy. It's not matte, it's not dewy, it's like a satiny finish and your skin just looks healthy and flawless and I think it's a beautiful foundation. This doesn't exactly match me, I, I'm, I'm about a half a shade too light for now since you know it's a lot more gray outside, it's not as sunny, but this is just a beautiful foundation. I think if you want to invest in a high-end foundation, this is the other one that you should go for. But I just wanted to quickly mention those ones. I really am a drugstore kind of person or an affordable kind of person because that's really what my channel is about. So there are three drugstore foundations that I think are the bomb diggity and are absolutely perfect. So the first one is the, look how much I've used of this one. Like that's how much I love it. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Um, I don't know anyone who doesn't like this. It has really good coverage. It has a pump, um, really good shade range. It looks beautiful on the skin. It has really long wearing. Um, you can have a medium to high coverage day depending on what you want. I really appreciate the coverage. I really appreciate that it has a pump. I think that it's just such a it's just such high in quality at a drugstore price. Um, and it's one that I actually decided to invest in and I have a bunch of shades for my kit as well because it's just it's that good and my clients love it as well. So this one you definitely need if you are looking for a new drugstore foundation. I'm sure most of you have tried this, but if you haven't, you should and you're missing out. Okay, this one is no surprise, I'm sure. I have like six different shades of this one. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is probably the cheapest one. It is vegan, cruelty-free, amazing coverage. It is just such a good finish, and I just think it looks so beautiful on the skin. It just looks so high-end. Once again, this is a high-end quality for a drugstore price, and I really think it's, I like the packaging, I think it's cute, I just, I don't know, I love everything about this foundation, along with the concealer. In general, the Wet n Wild, they have seriously stepped up their game, they are comparable with a lot of high-end brands, in my opinion. I reach for this foundation over almost all my foundations, so, I mean, that really says a lot, and it's amazing, it's $5, go check it out, really good shade range as well, so I highly recommend this one. This is another foundation that if you need if you need a new foundation, go out and get this one. The last one is the newest discovery of mine. This one is not at the drugstore, but it's super affordable. And this is the BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. I want to get a lot more shades in this because I love it so much. This is just half a shade too light for me. And I'm not going to be this light for very long, so I do want to have more shades. In fact, I have two other ones in my cart right now. I just have to order them. This is one that I really recommend that you try. And the only downside is because it's online, picking out your shade is a little difficult. But um, but I was able to find a shade that's pretty darn close to me. And now that I know what this one looks like on me, ordering my actual perfect shade will be so much easier. Really difficult when I was picking out that first one. Be like, okay, does this match me? Because you know, when, when you're looking at your phone or your computer, you know, depending on the brightness of like your phone or your computer, 
it can look a little bit different so it can be a little bit more difficult to pick out your shade but I know there's this website I can't remember what it's called but you can like shade match and you like tape and what you can do is you can like type in like your shade that you know of for like other foundations it'll come up with what shade you are for you know certain other foundations I'll see if I can find that website I'll put it down below if I can I know there's something out there that is like that so um Yes, I highly recommend this one. Super affordable. I think full price is like $8, but I have never seen it cost that much. I always think it costs like $5. So super affordable, amazing. I'm so glad that I decided to try this one out and I love it. So yeah. All right, guys. So those are my top five ride or die foundations that I cannot live without. If I only had these five foundations in my entire collection, I would be the happiest person alive. I love these. They're amazing. Um, it just... And they all have a different finish. So whatever I want that day, I'll choose a foundation based on that. And I just, I love all of them. So I will have links to all these foundations down below. And also you guys know what shade I am in each foundation. So that if maybe you think you have a similar shade to me, then you can go ahead and check that out. But yeah, so I love these foundations so much. And I, if you guys love these too, let me know in the comments. And also let me know what foundations are your ride or dies. Because I always want to try any new foundations. You can never ever try on no foundations in my opinion because there's always going to be a better one or there's going to be a worse one. You never know. So anyway, that is it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I know it's super short, but you know, sometimes there's going to be videos like that where I want to let you guys know just five, you know, a certain amount of things where it's like, you need these. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind the length of this video, but that is me everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you want to stick around and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I am doing vlogmas over there. Um, but yeah, that concludes this video and I will see you guys tomorrow for my next 25 days of Christmas video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Goodbye.